It's time for Rabbi Minkowitz's Weekly Torah Lesson, a place where life's most difficult questions are answered. Here with his spiritual perspective and insight, Rabbi Minkowitz. Welcome to this week's Torah Lesson. This week's Torah portion is Pashas by Yakel and Pikudei. The question of the week is, what is a Jewish vacation? So in this week's Torah portion, Parshas Vayakel, right in the beginning, the Torah begins that Moshe Rabbeinu gathered the Jewish people and he told them, Eila Hadvarim, these are the words that God commanded, and he tells them about the commandment that we should work for six days, and on the seventh day we should rest, and, we sh- uh, and, and right after that, after these three verses, it goes back to talking about the Malachat Mishkan, about the Mishkan, and the last to- two Torah portions about the Mishkan. So the question is, why... Right here, do we stick in a few verses about the Mishkan? So one answer is given is because since it says um, it says Ela Hadvarim, these are the things. What's the connection? Because Ela numerically Aleph is one, Lamed is thirty, Hey is five, which is thirty six. Um, Dvarim plural is two, so that's thirty eight, and Hadvarim the extra Hey is thirty nine. In other words, the Torah is teaching us that the laws of Shabbat we learn out what's considered a malacha. We learn it from the from the Mishkan, and that's why the, the piece is here. But there be asked, okay, but why does it have to be here? We can learn the things out from the Mishkan, but why do you have specifically the idea of Shabbat here? And the Rebbe explains, because the Torah is trying to teach us um, the connection between Shabbos and the Mishkan in terms of our service of God. What does that mean? The Torah is telling us as follows. Ultimately, what, why, are we, why are we building the Mishkan? So God should have a place to dwell, and we should be able to connect to God. In other words, and the Rebbe explains, that the Torah is teaching us is three different levels of connecting to God. The first level is the way a person behaves during the week. What is the, what's our behavior during the week? For six days we work, and we work hard, but we have to remember, even when we're working hard, we have to keep our mind, um, our purest part of mind, focused that ultimately God runs the world, and all our successes come from God, and even after all our work, we have to remember all our blessings come from God. So we do work, but we keep our mind focused, and remembering that everything comes from our Baruch, from God. What happens on Shabbos? Shabbos already we don't work. So Shabbos already, it's more of a uh, spiritual day. But, even though it's a spiritual day, but we're still involved in the in in, in materialistic world. But what happens when a person goes to the Mishkan? What happens when a Sibra goes to the, to, the, to the temple? Then you're really one with God on a whole different level. So in other words, what is a Jewish vacation? A Jewish vacation is, first of all, during the week, we try, we, our vacation is that we, our mind and our, our, our finest talents, we give over to God. So already we're relaxing, spiritually. Shabbat is the next level of vacation. We have no physical concerns. But ultimately, our greatest Jewish vacation is when we connect to God, like as if we were going to the Mishkan, that will allow us to have the greatest vacation possible. This week's Torah lesson is in memory of Baruch ben Ari Leib and Shlomo ben Yosef. May their souls be elevated for the Torah that we're studying in their memory. Thanks so much for joining us for our weekly Torah lesson. For more information on Chabad, please see our website.